Right. You can do that you bro. Right. I'm going to do both. Just not at the same time. Stalker. So, um, while I figure out what poem I'm going to do, I'm going to do a haiku for Pastor. Okay? Yes, I love Does everybody know what a haiku is? No. 757. Exact, it's 575. Okay. Yeah, you so know. it's a three line poem. The first line has five syllables, the second line has seven, and the third line has five. And this is called Growth, and it's for Pastor Eric. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Bleach glows through leather, iron can travel through doors. Don't ask how he knows. Yes, yes. Yes. Woo! That is the haiku, and it's called growth. Um, yes, striped wonder. Yep, we're gonna, we gonna do stalker. We're gonna do stalker. So when you didn't return any of the 14 phone calls I made to you in the last 15 minutes, yeah. oh my God. I grew worried. I called all three hospitals within a 25 mile radius of your place of employment just to make sure you hadn't been brought in with amnesia and needed a friend. I called your mother too, you have to call her back now. She's worried about you, no need to thank me. Today while you were at work, I took the liberty of organizing the toiletries you keep in the bathroom. Went out and bought those same toiletries and travel sites from my apartment. What about the regular size bottles, but I didn't want to be too presumptuous. I know how you get when I mention commitment. So this is me not being clingy. This is me with no strings attached. This is me just having fun just like you want, because I want what you want. We are so in sync. We are perfect for each other. In a non-clingy, non-committed sort of way, of course. Today I cooked your favorite meal. Actually, all of your favorite meals. So if you're not feeling this one, I can take one down, pop it in the microwave, make it again from scratch, whatever you prefer, because I'm here for you. I went ring shopping the other day. After stealing a peek at your bank statement and your W-2, I feel like I found the perfect one in your price range. For when the time comes, of course, I mean, we're not even boyfriend and girlfriend yet, and even though I have her number memorized, you haven't taken me to meet your mother yet. Crazy, right? The situation, not me, because I'm not crazy. I am focused and goal-oriented and detailed and, okay, maybe just a tad bit clingy. But that's only because you're so right for me. And I've studied you. So now I'm so right for you. It's hard to remember what my life was like before you. Therapy sessions and restraining orders, but there are bright days ahead because I can see you coming to terms with the fact that I need to be committed in a relationship, not a hospital. Try that, hated it because I'm not crazy. I'm crazy for you, crazy about you. In the two weeks that I have known you, you have become the biggest part of me. And to think, you thought this was just gonna be a booty call. A wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. See, it was all fun and games until it hit close to home. Your home, rocking a t-shirt you don't even remember giving me. You didn't. I put it on when you hopped in the shower immediately after we made love as if you could wash your hands of me that easily. I have a wedding song picked out. My mother is going to cut her prize begonias for my bouquet. And to think, all of this started because your place or mine were the only words you ever said to me. You should know better than to talk to strangers. There's some crazy people out there. <laughs>